Hi, Amzol Nation. This is Robbie Bassey. This is, we're down here at the 75 Crumb Shop, 25th anniversary. What, can you think of that? 25 years. We've been That's amazing. This. So we brought out our new build. This is a 22 Peterbilt. Uh, we've been spending about 20 months building this truck with Dustin Dickerson Custom Trucks out of Indiana. It's uh, been amazing. We took it all the way down to the bare frame rails and axles, motor, everything out of it. And come back and we created this wonderful, beautiful truck. Um, We've done a lot of detail. There's so much custom work on this truck. Um, there's just, we could go on for hours talking about how much custom work, but we'll just point out a couple of high points right now. We, we have subwoofers in the end of the tanks. Anybody ever seen subwoofers in the end of the fuel tanks? I mean, I mean. that's just the level of custom that we went to. Uh, the truck's names can't stop. And the reason for that is that if it was across the parking lot and you've seen it, you'd want to come closer to it. You'd want to keep looking at it. Every time you look at it, you're going to see something different. So we have all of this. It looks like X punching, but it's actually little stop signs. It's throughout the whole build of this truck. Buzz, not can't stop. We put speakers down in the frame, all the hex punching that goes with it. We also, these hucks are the same size, same distance as the hucks on the cab that Peterbilt put on from brand new. That's the attention to detail that we paid. We did legendary red on the motor. We did legendary red through the brake calipers all the way around the truck. And we just smoothed it out. Took all the bolts out of the frame. We completely gutted the interior, did a different type interior, uh, just to make it unique and original. And we just hope that everybody enjoys the truck. Um, I'm sure you guys are gonna get to see a lot of video of this truck and we appreciate all your support. Thank you. With the niceness of going to Dickerson to have Dickerson customize the truck, we fit everything with cardboard. I mean, Dickerson spends a lot of time on fabrication and making sure everything's just right. But if it doesn't just fit just right, guess what? We take it back to the other end of the shop. We tweak an eighth of an inch, 16th of an inch, whatever it needs to be. We come back, fit it back on the truck, make it work. That's the beauty of building it from custom. We took the Unibuilt system. We didn't want to lose the air ride on the cabin sleeper. So we took the Unibuilt system and we put it up underneath the truck. It's up underneath. This truck has a three inch body drop on it. In order to do that, we had to drop the radiator down. We had to modify everything on how everything works from the gear shift to the electronics to the air ride. Everything has to be modified because when you bring something three inches down, now everything's three inches too long. Everything's three inches off. Of, people don't understand how well that works, but it's huge. We also do little things like we cover the fuel tank strap. The whole underside of this cabin sleeper is lined with aluminum and it is painted to match the truck. We took the time to block that down so all the heater lines, all the air lines, all the electrical is all hidden in this cavity. But when we did that, we did the body drop, then we figured out that the cabin sleeper couldn't go up and down because of the front tool, the front fuel tank bracket. So we had to modify that underpan so it would go over that front fuel tank bracket. We have firewall cover on it. Everything has just been there's not one screw, one bolt on this truck that has not been touched and modified. 